breaking news. At the Supreme Court today, Apapa and his boys were thoroughly disgraced. Their case dismissed. And we are told to apologize to the Labour Party. End of the case. <laughs> Today in Supreme Court judgment, a final solution has finally come to light. As Lamy Day Apapa, the purported embattled Labour Party chairman, had his case dismissed by the court and asked to apologize to the party, Labour Party, why Senator Achino remains the legitimate Guba, Guba candidate of the Labour Party in Imo State and Aburi remains the authentic Labour Party national chairman. This was made known by the party's Twitter handle in a, in a very brief text below. At the, at the Supreme Court today, Apapa and his boys were thoroughly disgraced. Their case dismissed and we are told to apologize to the Labour Party, end of the case. So guys, finally, finally, this case have ended though. Hmm? The case have ended. So Apapa Lamide and Labour Party now, they can now, they can now rest. And I know the battle since now. Lamide say now be the, the authentic uh, national chairman of Labour Party, and for that reason, Court should dismiss Abri, even the the governor, the governor, the the governorship candidates in uh, Imo State. Abri even say made them, you know, dismiss them and all that. So this is a good news, you know, to the Labour Party. The Supreme Court has affirmed Senator Atan. Achino as authentic candidate of the Labour Party for the November 11 governorship election in Imo State. The court dismissed the appeal by Basse Madeka against the Labour Party over the rightful candidate of the party in the election on the grounds of Lucas Tandi as well. The two respondents in the matter were the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC and the Lamide Ababa led candidate Joseph alias Ikenge where whose request to seek a constitutional order was also rejected by the Supreme Court. The National Publicity Secretary of the Party Obiora said this in a statement on Thursday, September 28, after the court ruled on the matter. According to the statement, a panel of five justices led by Iyong Okoro has cautioned the applicant for applicant for abusing court processes and wasting the time of the court all through the lower court. The statement quoted the counsel to the Labour Party, Okodile Anose, to have said today at the Supreme Court the antics of Basse Madoka and his accomplice Joseph Ukwogba alias Ikenga was put to an end as they met their water loan at the Apis Court. Anaze added that the ruling accumulated the exposure of their lies about the Federal High Court and Court of Appeal judgment. Speaking with reporters after the ruling, a tuna called on the people of the state to vote for the Labour Party, a pledge to bring the desired individuals, uh, the desired dividends of democracy, adding that he will run a people-oriented government when elected. So guys, Matadon Endo, in a significant ruling that concludes a long-standing, long dispute within the Labour Party, the Supreme Court has dismissed the case, the case filed by the fashion led by Lamide Apapa, confirming Julius Aburi as the authentic national chairman of the Labour Party. This decision has solidified Achuno as the sole gubernatorial candidate for the upcoming Imo State gubernatorial election. The fleet between the two factions 
and had persisted for months with Lamide Ababa constantly challenging the legitimacy of Julius Aburi's leadership within the party. Central to this dispute was the candidacy of Achuno, the Labour Party's candidate for the Imo State gubernatorial election, scheduled for November. Lamide Apepa's <laughs> Lamide Apepa's Lega uh, maneuvers aimed to limit the legibility of gubernatorial candidates in Imo State, Kogi, and Bayasa State to those selected through primary elections conducted under is fashion's auspice, undermining the authority of the Abri fashion, and this set the stage for a legal showdown that accumulated in the Supreme Court ruling. The Supreme Court decision not only upholds Julius Abri as a national chairman, but also affirms Anoche as a legitimate gubernatorial candidate of the Labour Party in Imo State. This clear, uh, clarity is expected to bring relief to party members and supporters who have been caught in the crossfire of this internal party dispute. While the details of the Supreme Court's judgment are yet to be fully disclosed, the ruling marks a turning point for the Labour Party as it prepares for the upcoming gubernatorial elections. The party now faces the task of uniting its members and refocusing its efforts on the electoral context ahead. This verdict, with its far-reaching implications, closes a, a turbulent chapter in the Labour Party's history. The party now has the opportunity to regroup and present a united front as it varies for political uh, prominence in the forthcoming elections. Further details regarding the Supreme Court's reasoning and judgment are expected to be made available in due course, shedding more light on the legal complicity surrounding this case. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please, do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.